Hey guys, I'm sorry that it's been like forever. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, I have no excuse. And I just started school my second semester, so I've been kind of getting back in the swing of things after Christmas break. If you've been following me on my gaming channel, you've been seeing that I've been updating there. I have many ideas for my vlogging channel and it's really bad. And I'm behind on my submission on my subscribe, on my, on my collab channel. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, I did want to do something for you guys because I felt really bad. I decided that what would be fun to do is I'm going to do a top, wonders top of 2013. Yes, I know 2013 is like gone and I'm like the last freaking person in the entire world to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh well. Oh well. I'm going to give you my top 10 songs of 2013. And so you guys can listen to them if you want. You can totally ignore this. Um, please don't. Because <laughs> if you don't, if you if you ignore this, you won't get to see uh, my top five games, my top five no just watch YouTubers, and a special announcement at the end. So please stay. Okay, number 10 on my list of Wonder's top 10 songs of 2013 is I've Written Some Tragedies by Panic at the Disco. The song is amazing, it's a classic, everyone knows it, and it's also been one of my favorite songs ever since I started listening to them. So thank you guys for writing a good song. Um, I have been listening to your new album and I will continue to listen as long as you guys make music. Number 9 is Timber by Pitbull featuring Kesha. Now that song is essentially amazing. I love the beat, I love the lyrics, I love everything about it, and it's definitely got my top 10. I listen to it so much, it's on my top 25 most Uh, number 8 is Save Rock and Roll by Fall Out Boy featuring Elton John. That song is essentially amazing. I love the, I love the, I love the melding between Patrick and Elton John, and it's just, it's incredible, it's well done, the lyrics are incredible, I love it. And yes. Number seven is Terrible Things by Mayday Parade. Uh, Mayday Parade has always had a place in my heart ever since I started listening to rock. Um, well, I guess it's rock. I don't know, because a lot of people have different definitions of rock and I just see it as anything that has an electric guitar. Um, but I listen to a lot of music. But uh, Mayday Parade is Amazing. I love the song Terrible Things. It's very sad, but the song itself just has a more positive meaning for me. Um, just to keep living and keep loving no matter what happens to you. Number six is What a Catch Johnny by Fall Out Boy. What a Catch Johnny is has always been essentially my anthem, and I listen to it whenever I'm sad and I'm happy. It's just something that's kept me going, and so that song is one of my favorites, and thank you to the guys for writing that. Uh, number five is Vegas Girl by Connor Maynard. Vegas Girl is literally the definition of a party song. It's incredible. Um, I haven't heard it at any parties that I've been to yet, but I would definitely play it at mine. It's catchy, it's fun. I love it. It's incredible. Number four is Miss Jackson by Panic of the Disco. I have always loved Panic anyway, and when I got their new album, um, I pretty much, the moment I got home, I stuck it in my computer and like downloaded all the music. And just sat there at my computer for hours listening to Panic songs. Like, that's how bad of an addiction I have. Um, Miss Jackson is incredible, it's a great song, and I love it. Number three is Monster by Eminem featuring Rihanna. I love that they actually collab. Um, they're the two voices between his rapping and her voice always mesh well together and I have this good feeling that probably Rihanna and Eminem are probably good friends. Number two is This Is Gospel by Panic! The Disco. It is one of my favorites and I do love that song dearly. Uh, not my top song of 2013 is Nicotine. Now this song is, I mean, you gotta listen to it to actually get the full scale of what it is. But um, the amount of metaphor in that song and the pure genius behind it is incredible. So you guys, I love it. Um, I'm always, my friends always hear me singing the lyrics to Nicotine all the time. And I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> but. Okay, so top five games, since you know I am a gaming channel also, so I have to give that. Um, my number five game of the year is uh, Curse of Plum Mountain. 
Curse of Plum Mountain is a Unity Engine game and it is fun. It's the series that I'm doing now. It's got a lot of corny jokes and it's got a lot of different mechanics to it, but I love it personally and you should check it out. Um, you, can go to my ch you can go to my gaming channel and you can see my playthrough of it. You can find it on Game Shed and go ahead and play through it. Number four, Amnesia the Dark Descent. I know that this is the, that that's not a way to say that like Amnesia is not good because Amnesia is incredible. It is so immersive and it's just, it just gets me. But there are a whole bunch of other games that are also in the running that are not just horror and just the fact that it has reached that level for me is incredible. My number three is The Binding of Isaac. Um, Binding of Isaac is technically horror, but it's also kind of like an adventure game, adventure style, uh, fight style. It's it's very, it's got a different kind of uh, feel to it, but it is incredible. And I do love The Binding of Isaac. I just did a playthrough of it on my channel, and I hope that I can do a couple more episodes of The Binding of Isaac and hopefully do some live streaming of it. That would be nice. Number two is Super Hot. Now, you can also check this out on my channel. It, I did it a couple weeks ago. Uh, Super Hot is a indie game that just came out and it's got incredible dynamics. And it's it's being funded right now and you can go play it at superhotgame.com and they kind of leave it at a standstill like, do you know, is this going to be the end? But Super Hot is amazing. It's incredible. Like, the whole mechanics of it is just, it blows my mind. So go play Super Hot. I can't recommend it enough. And last, my, my top game of the year is Vapor. And for anyone who has played Vapor, you know what I mean. This game is extremely immersive. It's immersive, it's scary, it's everything you could want from a game. And it just, every time I play it, I have chills because it's so, you get so into it. And you're so into the legend and what happened and like, just go play Vapor. Although, if you do have a health condition like uh, epilepsy, don't play it. Because it does have flashers and screamers and things like that. And, I mean, I sometimes I get a headache after I play it. But it's just such a game. But if you're, do you have a health issue concerning it, please don't. I don't want to be... I would feel bad if you something happened to you. So don't. Part. I'm going to tell you, I do watch YouTube. I know, right? Incredible. I do have top five of my most watched YouTubers. And if any of you see this, thank you for making videos. You have made my life so great. Um, so I'm going to give you my top five and you should go subscribe to them. Like really, go do it. Like right now. Even though I haven't told you. Number five is PewDiePie. Of course, I will be subscribed to the king of YouTube. Videos are hilarious. I feel I feel weird when I watch them around my mom because my mom doesn't really like cursing, but I'm like, I'll play them. I'm like, turn the volume way down. <laughs> but um, Pewds is great. I love his videos. They're hilarious. I started watching. Um, I started watching around the time where he was getting done with the amnesia with his amnesia playthrough. So I've been kind of like watching for a while, but I just subscribed because I didn't have a YouTube channel until like long, you know, when I started, I just kind of would like go on YouTube and follow his channel. I didn't have a, I didn't have an email until I was like 12. I didn't even have a Gmail until I was like 15. Now number four, Markiplier. Markiplier, just any time that I'm sad and whenever I feel like that I need to just, you know, relax after a hard day of school, usually the first person that I watch is Markiplier. He updates every day. He's so he's so great to his fans and I mean honestly I hope that one day I can meet him um I know a lot of fangirls that say that but I wish that I could just tell him that you know he's helped me get through some really tough stuff for me in university and just kind of like not being overstressed like somehow when I watch his videos I don't stress as much and I don't get anxiety just knowing that I can watch his videos and laugh along with him. Um, he's an incredible guy. Go ahead and subscribe to him. Please do. He deserves so many more subscribers than he has. And just, you know, give him some love. Number three, Dan is not on fire. 
I'm like the most sarcastic antisocial person in the world so of course I would be one of the people who who daily check the 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 internet support group for people who hate people. Yep, Dan's videos are the best. They're hilarious, they're funny. I enjoy like I enjoy skits and things like that. They're great. Keep going Dan, you're doing awesome. My number 2 is Amazing Phil. I didn't like find him. I just kind of like a friend I, I was kind of like, I started watching Phil after a friend of mine told me about this guy that was on YouTube and he was really cute and he, he was starting to make videos and I was just like, okay, I'll watch him. And so I've been kind of just following his channel ever since and great job, Phil. You deserve more follow, you deserve more subscribers than you have because you're just incredible. Um, number one is a friend of mine that I met on YouTube, um, Otaku Skittles. How Otaku and I met was, um, she commented on one of my videos, uh, What Lies Underneath, which was an indie game that I need to still go back to, and it was in development, and I was checking it out, and and she commented on it, and we had a whole conversation, and then I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, subscribe her on YouTube, and follow her Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. <laughs> yeah, so I consider her one of my YouTube friends, and... Um, she did promote me on one of her promo videos, so thank you. That was so, so sweet. I was not expecting that, and I am promoing her now. So you guys can go to Otaku Skittles and subscribe to her, because you should. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you really like this video, you can like, you can rate, you can share. That's majorly how videos get shared around. Um, and you can comment, I would actually, I'm actually asking you guys to comment because I'd like to make videos for you guys more often, but I want to know what you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments and tell me what you want to see next. I will do pretty much anything, um, as weird or as crazy as it is. I mean, I have a video coming out on my gaming channel, which will come out soon, of me awkwardly dancing to Timber. Now, come on now. Come on. It was, it's part of a 20 subscriber video. Thank you. So... Thank you for that. Another special announcement for you guys is that I am starting a gamer squad with a couple of people. Isn't it great? Um, I am doing a gamer squad with Otaku Skittles, Anifias, Waba Fit MC, and Callum Games. Now, these guys are so much fun to talk to, and they're a great group of people, so you guys should go ahead and subscribe to them. Check us out. We'll be doing some um, collabs very, very soon, as soon as we get all of our software stuff together. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like, please subscribe to come in Wonder Cat today. And I will see you guys next week for sure with a new video. Bye! Um, number 10 is I Write Simpsons Tragedies by Fall Out Boy. Did I just really do that? Did I just really say I Write Simpsons Tragedies by Fall Out Boy? I'm a terrible fan. No, 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 no. <laughs>